Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for October 6th, 2022. Well, that wild price action continues. It seems that the narrative out there that continues to suggest the Fed is going to pivot and somehow soften on inflation help those bulls recover a pretty substantial sell-off early in the day um, and obviously pushing us up to a new high yesterday running into that price resistance before it rejected so what does that mean for today well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the thursday edition of the morning market prep video Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Boy, I tell you, we've got a challenging market um, here with lots of back and forth and lots of uncertainty. Um, yesterday, you probably heard that OPEC cut production, which is um, right now seen as, a, as an offense uh, to the president, and um, we are seeing um, oil prices um, uh, surged on Friday or surged on Wednesday, and then we see that uncertainty again in the dollar and bond yields, uh, creating some issues here for us in the market. But with that going on, we continue to rally. Remember our ADP report came in hotter than um, expected. That's also um, not favorable for the Fed pivoting. But we seem to have that narrative that continues out here that the Fed's going to suddenly back off and start fi stop fighting inflation. And um, personally, I don't think that's going to be the case. But if that narrative continues out there, we certainly have more upside potential in the market. This morning, we're getting a little bit of pushback here um, early on, a little bit of downside move in the pre-market, as you can see. And what we're doing is we're, we're really just reacting to uh, downtrends in the market and price resistance out here um, on these um on these price action moves we're just kind of struggling and unfortunately yesterday we um, made that rally back on pretty light volume or lighter than normal volume um, uh, from what we have seen lately so kind of an interesting move and with um, um, earnings only being a week away and um, fourth quarter earnings kickoff being about a week away and um, the uncertainty issues out there it wouldn't surprise me at all if we just kind of go back into a little bit of a choppy uh, pattern here in the market so watch that closely as we press against this resistance area and we still remain underneath that downtrend our technicals in the chart certainly have not improved notice our 200 day moving average is now crossing down through the 50 our 50 day moving average has hooked over um, to the downside so definitely not improving on uh, the technical side of things and if we look at our spy very much the same thing we're we're pressing up and we're tucking ourselves right up against these resistance levels in the chart and downtrends in the chart and just haven't been able to um, follow through to that upside enough to to follow through and the question remains will we just bounce around in a range or could we even come back down into here to test the support um, so watch that close all is not lost I don't want to be sounding bearish or anything like that I really don't know what's going to happen next here in the market but there certainly is a lot of concern out there in the market and um, with Fed actions and um, as we're seeing in these numbers that just continue to come out showing that the Fed's battle against inflation is is not over and uh, we should not expect them to back off on that anytime soon if we take a look at our QQQ very much a similar situation here we're pounding our head against some price resistance in the chart uh, pounding our head against the downtrend into the chart we're going to need something it seems to me we're going to need something pretty substantial maybe to push us through there some kind of change something that says um, things are getting better 
And right now, I'm just not seeing those things getting better in um, uh, China, Europe, here in the United States. Our numbers continue to look pretty darn bearish. So watch that closely. If we can hold in this range, that would be one of the best things we could do. And maybe settle down a little bit. That would help out um, a lot as well. I know a lot of folks are suffering pretty heavily here in this market because of the choppy and, and wild price action swings costing them quite a bit of money. If you take a look at IWM, IWM, very same situation, but IWM is stronger in the sense that we didn't make new lows on the year. So that's a good sign. And as you can see, we're still um, challenging that downtrend. We've got lots of price resistance here in the chart for uh, this stock to deal with, so or this index to deal with. So, yeah, again, um, technicals in the chart having have not improved. Things uh, still are very, very questionable and up in the air. If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX yesterday, although we rallied back pretty substantially, we really didn't change anything or fix anything. And again, those volumes were relatively low. We pushed down to test trend. And, you know, that's what a trend does. So push down a test trend, maybe test some support in here. And the question now is, can we, um, can we push on higher in the market, breaking those trends and support? Or will we find, um, you know, those sellers and those bears being a little bit tenacious and maybe pushing back up off of that area in the chart? And with the uncertainties out there that we see, um, certainly, shouldn't be that big of a surprise if that were to occur. If we were to look at our um, T2122, now T2122 was all over the place yesterday. Um, as we sold off and down about 400 points on the day, we had our T2122 pulled all the way back into here. And then by the end of the day with the rally back up, we came back up into this area. So keeping that in mind, if we can find some bullish inspiration, what we have done is we've opened up an opportunity for upside. If there is something out there that can get us inspired um, or inspire those bulls to push a little bit harder, there is room for that upside move. Um, if the bears find that inspiration today, well, just keep in mind, we still have a very um, sizable downside opportunity as well in our T2122. And keeping in mind, I get a lot of questions about this indicator. It really is a simple indicator. It's just a four week new high, new low ratio. It just takes a number of stocks making new highs, a number of stocks making new lows, creates a ratio and it plots between 100 and zero. And it doesn't give us direction of the market. It doesn't tell us which way we're going to go, but it does tell us when we have those pressure points of even of um, this overbought condition or an oversold condition. So right in here, there's really no way to know what we're going to do today in this, just that we have upside opportunity and we have considerable downside opportunity. Let's take a look at our T2108. Now, T2108 is the percentage of stocks holding above their 40-day moving average. And as you can see, we had a little bit of a flat line there yesterday. We just kind of hooked over flat. But um, albeit a, an improvement, what we're doing right in here is we're still struggling with these resistance levels. You can see our downtrend resistance here in the chart, which is obviously very steep and then all of this price resistance here that you see in the chart. So we're struggling with that a little bit. 27% of the stocks holding above their 40 days. So that is an improvement, but not quite enough to just really say, hey, the all clear has been sounded and we should get really excited about a bull run. I'm not seeing that in that chart. And if we take a look at uh, T2107, um, which is the percentage of stocks holding above their 200 day moving average, we're not getting um, uh, that warm and fuzzy here either. We're pressing against that downtrend right in here, the longer term downtrend. We've got a lot of work before we break through that. Um, we're pressing into these price resistance levels in the chart. So uh, there's silver lining hope that um, the T2107 um, is starting to show um, that stiffening of stocks uh, coming up um, around that 200 day moving average. We're not sinking to new lows, but certainly 
you know, 25% of the stocks above their 200 day is pretty tough to make a major bullish case on it and really get inspired that, hey, the, the bull run is back. Um, let's take a look at our T2101. Now, T2101 was interesting yesterday. Um, we had hooked yesterday and hooked back up um, looking for a little bit of um, that bullish uh, excuse me, a little bit of that bearish um, inspiration pushing in, sending us back up. And then yesterday we hooked to the other side. And I th again, I think the volumes yesterday being a little bit low, we might not be getting the best of data in here. But there is what we do see right now is there's just so much uncertainty in this market. It's hard to know what comes next. And I think we're, we're likely going to run into a bit of a choppy consolidation with seven days, excuse me, five days, um, excuse me, one week and seven days. So seven days total, one week until we begin <laughs> the um, um, fourth quarter earnings. There's just that uncertainty out there um, in the market. So there you go. If you ever wonder if this is a live video or, or edited, um, and now you know. Um, I make mistakes just like everyone else does. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. Now, our economic calendar is not going to give us a whole lot to be inspired by today. Um, we've got the Challenger Job Cut Report. Uh, coming in, which is not a big market mover. Um, but then we've got our jobless claims this morning. Um, we'll want to be keeping an eye on that one. Now, jobless claims can certainly move the market substantially. And our consensus in this um, is suggesting that we're going to see a bit of an increase in those claims numbers. So if that were to occur, um, you know, we might actually get a bullish response out of it if if those claims numbers come up because it would show that the Fed actions are actually starting to work and, and maybe that would provide a little bit of, of, of hope of a Fed pivot um, sometime in the future, but watch that close. And then we've got um, just, you know, a bunch of Fed speakers in here. We've got a few bond auctions, not much anything else to 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 react to. And then we'll be waiting. Um, and that's why I think we could see some choppy price action um, as we get through the morning activity here, the morning, morning pop and, and grind around, um, as we're going to be waiting for that employment situation number coming out Friday morning morning. So keep a close eye on that. Let's take a peek at our um, economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar does have a little bit more on it than we've seen here the last few days of reports or, or notables. Um, um, AN, ANGO um, reporting, um, as you can see, looks like disappointing um, this morning. Um, running in this downtrend and obviously not the happiest of reports this morning apparently pushing lower here in that chart we've got con agra um, reporting it looks like con agra is moving up and that may be one of those things that we don't want to see here in the market because what it means uh, packaged foods um, or food prices are continuing to show strength to the upside and you can see con agra doing pretty well here this morning in the pre-market and we've got constellation brands here constellation brands wow what a candle in that uh, could be a bad tick here this morning but keep an eye on constellation again a consumer defensive stock um, you'll want to watch that carefully and then um, later on today we've got um, Levi Strauss will be reporting. Um, let's keep an eye on that little pop and drop here this morning. Maybe they're reporting this morning. I could be wrong. Watch that closely. Levi Strauss, a um, lot of resistance and still in a downtrend. And last but not least, another defensive sector stock, um, McCormick, will be reporting today. Um, so keep a, an eye on that. Obviously, very bearish chart here overall. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you'd please click that subscribe button on YouTube. And 
also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. And I want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. I truly appreciate it. As you might imagine, it does take quite a little bit of effort to put these videos together um, every day, um, um, uh, put the content together and um, um, shoot and, and render and post these videos. So it, it is very much appreciated when you guys leave those nice comments um, on the channel and support the effort here. Um, I, I continue to get lots of good feedback um, from folks utilizing this to help them improve their training or their trading and um, um, and that's very, very humbling. And um, thank you so much for all of those kind words of encouragement. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence and be very, very careful in this market. You know, I do a lot of end of, uh, coaching work with individual traders. And I'll tell you, there's a lot of pain and suffering out there in the market right now. And one of the reasons is we're, we're pressing too hard or... Um, we're bored we want the market to go up but um, what we're what we're seeing a lot of is folks doing wild speculation you know when the market's this volatile back off a little bit trade a little bit less be a little bit more patient and a bit more disciplined to your rules make sure when you look at any of these charts that i show you here that you understand the risk of these trades and that you are following your personal risk tolerances and your set of rules uh, for trading let's take a look here netflix is one um, i've kind of been keeping an eye on um i don't know a little bit of a love hate thing going on here um, with Netflix because their service has kind of slipped quite a bit in my opinion but um, as you look at Netflix we have a resistance level here with a big um, upside gap um, on that side to be paying attention to and we've been struggling against that resistance but as you can see we've been holding these little higher lows in this little wedging pattern so I keep an eye on this it's not ready to go just yet maybe but I keep an eye on this for that opportunity that that may kind of fill out this wedge in here or at any time find that inspiration it may pop into that um, big open space up here and then have a pretty good upside opportunity to rally if it does. Um, don't rush into a trade like that and don't anticipate the trade. Wait for that to push out. Wait for that to show you that bullish sign that the that um, buyers are stepping in here to push that through that area um, because um, a lot of risk in this market right now, um, particularly heading toward earnings reports. Um, let's take a look at um, MUX, MUX, interesting chart here. Um, um, some of the metals, miners, um, really starting to come up here. And MUX is a little tiny guy, as you can see. But notice that we have um, popped through some resistance right here in the chart. And we're trying to hold that um, as we speak, trying to hang in there. And if we take a look at our moving averages, you can see that this is what we call a rounded bottom breakout. It's where the stock breaks above the 50-day moving average. Um, and by the way, this pattern, there's some great classes available on this. Um, my partner, Rick Sadler, is the guy who put this uh, strategy together. And it's a very profitable strategy. So um, if you want to get some more information on that, um, um, check back with him. Um, um, or I can also help you with this pattern. But breaking through um, up here, we want to see that rest or pullback and proof that we can hold support and then we have some significant upside opportunity here and one of the things that I'm seeing is an awful lot of miners um, are really starting to perk up take a look at um, Newmont mining Newmont pushing up breaking into that 50-day moving average it hasn't quite found that energy to push through that area yet but you can see that opportunity may soon be coming along here if we can hold in this area and see those those buyers step up we might be able to push through there and if you look at there's a lot of these out here right now where we're starting to see that improvement in the mining um, sector of the market because we've recently seen the US dollar pull back and that dollar pulling back um, here in the chart has helped 
um, some of those miners perk up here. Unfortunately, we're seeing that dollar a um, little bit higher this morning, a little pop and drop again in the, in the morning here on that dollar. So that may affect those negatively, pushing some of those miners back down toward those support levels. But keep an eye on them. That's where we might find that opportunity for entry into some of those trades. Um, other places, take a look at like um, FCX, FCX pushing, pushing up. We're seeing copper doing the same kind of thing, pushing up through that 50. And, going to see if we can hold in here. This is why we wait for the hold of support. We can pop through and then fail, pop through and then fail. We don't want to catch that trade. We want this to pop through and then prove to hold. Prove to hold and then show us buyers following through to the upside. Um, SCCO would be another one to take a look at in copper. We've also seen some um, interesting rallies in steel. They're, they've come up a bit. They've got a lot of work yet to do but some of those commodities uh, uh, coming up just a little bit. Take a look at um, DBC. DBC is a commodity tracking ETF, and you can see breaking through this downtrend, pushing up through that 50. Notice our 200-day moving average is right there as well. This is trying to get up through there, so if we can get any kind of a consolidation or resting pattern in here, we might watch for that upside potential to occur here in some of these commodities. And that's particularly if the dollar starts to weaken. If the dollar starts to strengthen again, which it's doing the last couple of days, then uh, I would say all bets are off on these and we could probably see metals and commodities moving back lower on that strength. The other place that was the story of the day yesterday and that was with what OPEC did and as you can see um, energy here very very strong the last few days we just shot right back up so keep an eye on this if we were to draw a trend line across this area here notice we're just challenging in that downtrend in the chart now you never want to chase a move like this because we could whipsaw this right back down but if this can prove to hold in this area, then look for that next opportunity. And if it does sink back a little bit, look for that higher low to see if that can um, start pushing back through. And there would be reason to think that that's a possibility with OPEC cutting production. So watch that closely. And of course, remember with TC2000 guys, if you, um, uh, I haven't talked about this for a while, but one of the easiest things in the world is you can find a sector like this, click one icon and have everything that makes up that sector and you can look in here and find those stocks that are really performing breaking through resistance levels doing some really nice moves here um, against our moving averages so you can sort through those really easy and find those individual stocks that make up that ETF so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you great results in your trading thanks so much for being here today I do truly appreciate it be careful out there because it's a it's a tough market be safe and i'll see you right back here bright and early friday morning i wish you all the best